Here in the O'Brien Center for Science in UCD with Denise. Denise, yep. thank you so much for welcoming us in. Tell us a bit about the work you do here. So um, I actually work in the Institute for Sport and Health in UCD and I also collaborate with the Insight Center for Data Analytics. So analyzing movement to tell us all kinds of things in terms of either sporting performance or also uh, health as well. So mm -hmm. you express yourself through your movement and we can analyze all sorts, of, or all sorts of things around that. And what sort of things have you found out um, in your time working here? So mm -hmm. I've looked at the golf swing for example, um, I've looked at, I've got some students working on performance analysis in rugby or how performance analysis interacts with the coaching process. So they would be the sport applications and then personally I also work with Parkinson's disease and looking at ways to improve how people with Parkinson's can walk better or move around the world better. So a lot of computer scientists taking large amounts of data and then trying to get meaningful information from that data that we can feed back to people to improve their performance in terms of sport or improve their lives in terms of their health. So. And more importantly what are you doing with me today? <laughs> so today we're going to put some sensors on you okay. and we're going to look at how you squat. You said you go to the gym mm -hmm. so we'll see how good you are in the gym and then I'm also going to get you to to do some a different type of um, cardiovascular training that maybe you haven't done before that okay. might be a bit more appealing for you. Brilliant. Okay, Martin, I might be wearing a Star Wars t-shirt, but that looks like alien technology. What the hell are you putting around my waist? Well, this is just a small sensor. It tracks your motion. Okay. I'm going to strap around your back, and what I'm doing is that's going to be able to tell if you squat properly or not. Mm -hmm. And then the idea would be that in the long run, you'd have an app that could you could bring to the gym, and it'd say, are you doing your squats right, and are you doing them wrong, and then coach you to do them better without actually needing a personal trainer. Saving you a little bit of cash while you're at it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so where do I put it? What am I doing? Okay, Go on. So just do the honest. I need to strap around on. your waist here. So we're just going to pop two on the lower legs as well. He's shifting over to his right hand side, which probably means he's right legged and much stronger on the right hand. But you can see all this with the data here and also those sensors he's wearing can tell us that. So if he was to be at home, hopefully we could automatically tell him that this is happening. Okay, you've hooked me up with some new gadgets. Uh, yeah. First off, what is this? Don't worry, this is the microphone. So this is just a heart rate monitor. Yeah. We've got two electrodes here that's going to pick up your heart rate and they're going to read it off your watch. Read it off this. It's standing at about 95, 90 at the moment, but is that because I did a workout just there? Yes. I'm not going to die. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm not going to die. You're good. Okay. Okay, so do you want to step up and try that? Okay, so what we're doing is high intensity interval training, right? Mm -hmm. So what I want you to start off with um, when, when we press go on the treadmill is just the pace that you think you could keep going for 30 minutes. Okay. Okay, okay so we're just going to get you warming up for, say, five minutes. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is three minutes on, running at this pace, two minutes just walking, three minutes on, two minutes off, three minutes on, two minutes off, and three minutes. Okay, so it's 12 cool. minutes of hard running all together. Awesome. You can do it? Yeah, why not? Okay, so we're on our last 30 seconds, oh Stephen, God, well okay. done. Uh, Good stuff. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> you did great. Don't talk to me! <laughs> <laughs> you did really well. And 10, so just bring it down to walking speed again. Well done. So that's you. That's your ses session done now. Oh, easy? Yeah, actually, a lot easier than what I was saying in terms of trying to maintain something for an hour. Yeah, exactly. So it's more stimulating. Yeah. And you get your training in and out. You're a busy guy, so um, and you relish those breaks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. So Denise, obviously you put me through my paces. I'm a little bit sweaty. Sorry for the smell. That's okay. <laughs> I don't do. <laughs> you did really well. So um, we saw with your squat that there was a little, some technical faults there mm -hmm. that, that you actually corrected once you were cued. And then for your um, cardiovascular session, you actually did better than I expected because <gasps> you said you don't do cardiovascular training, yes. but actually you do do circuit training in the gym, mm -hmm. which helped you out. And uh, yeah, so you did really well. So hopefully you, you use it going forward, yeah? You keep it up, yeah, totally. <laughs> now where's my burrito? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.